Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part two of our series testing super unleaded petrols for their octane rating. You join me on a literally freezing cold Sunday evening with my octane tester and I've just picked up a gallon of uh, Supreme Synergy Supreme. Let's find out if it is 99 octane. If you saw the first part of this series you might remember my demonstrating the reader and what I said to be an ethanol free fuel sample. Well that petrol was SO Synergy and it gave a consistent reading of 93 octane in AKI, the anti-knock index used in North America and a couple of uh, countries in South America, uh, both in the measuring cylinder and directly into uh, a fuel container. 93 octane converted to RON, the research octane number, comes up a little short of the advertised 99 uh, plus at 97.4. We can, however, make the assumption that if the AKI octane decimal is above 93.5, that it would convert to 98 ron. With today's sample, let's see what reading we get and play around with the adjustment button to see if we can get a decimal reading or make it display the uh, ron value directly. So we have 92 now. It's not what I expected or wanted to see if I'm honest, as it's making me question the accuracy of the reader, uh, my accuracy of operation perhaps, or the fact that I uh, simply favour, use and recommend this fuel that is supposed to be 99 plus in RON. Using the conversion formula, RON equals AKI times 22 divided by 21, 92 AKI is 96.4 RON. But let me have a play around with the awkward to press mode button that you have to jab with this pen nib and see if I can get the decimal reading. Well it's cycling through a series of values. Firstly a nominal unit that I imagine is the tester's base reading of uh, dielectric strength. Then the fuel temperature of 6 degrees Celsius. Then it quickly flashed up its 92.3 uh, octane reading. But it doesn't seem to switch it to display wrong. So we'll have to deal with what we have for now, and using the formula I just mentioned, we get 96.7 RON, which gives us an average of 97 RON between this and the previous test sample. Please bear in mind, until we get results from other brands, it could become apparent that the tester isn't accurate, or perhaps other factors come into play, such as the lack of ethanol itself and the additives package, which uh, would be a little ironic. Well that's a surprising result, it's a shame I couldn't get the Optane tester to read in RON instead of AKI, uh, but we can do the conversions easy enough. I did want to get a sample of Shell V-Power, uh, just to see what that read before releasing this video, but unfortunately my local Shell garage is pretty useless and hasn't had any V-Power in for uh, about six weeks now. So uh, I'll publish this video before beforehand, but bear in mind once uh, once we've got some uh, more data from other fuels, we'll be able to make a fairer comparison. Join me again in part three of this series, where I'm actually going to be testing the octane of a fuel that's had the ethanol extracted from it. So this could be useful if you can only uh, obtain um, ethanol blended petrol, and you can know what ethanol, uh, sorry, what uh, octane rating the uh, base petrol uh, will have left to see how much of a, a booster you need to give it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.